knockout stage. Well, this, of course, is Lee Hyun Il and the Asian All-Stars arriving at the stadium just a few minutes ago. Their opponents, the hosts, of course, Malaysia. The tensions, I can tell you, are growing around me. The final group standings, as you can see, it was the defending champions, Indonesia, that topped the table. Uh, they went on top, actually, after the fifth round of matches. Malaysia and Thailand, 21 points each, and Asia qualified for the semi-finals above Europe, despite being beaten 3-1 by the European team on day three of competition. So, as I say, it is those top four teams that are contesting the semi-finals and knockout stage. The first of our semi-finals is, of course, Malaysia against the Asia All-Stars. And Indonesia and Thailand will be contested later on this evening, 7.30 local time. Four matches per tie. Men's and women's singles, mixed doubles and men's doubles make up the four matches and it's been a wonderful format because it means that every single match carries a point towards the team scores. So there we have who we've got matching up, just one change from the group match which was played on day seven of competition on Sunday the 31st of March which Malaysia won. 3-1 against Asia. The only difference is the men's doubles. You could see that Kukian Kiat and Tan Boon Hyong are in the men's doubles in place of Hoon Tian Hao and Tan Wu Kyong. Well, there's the mixed doubles player. He wasn't well when they played the last of the group matches at uh, Champion Soon. He tells me that he's feeling much better uh, this week and looking to improve on his performance. Please do they all look very relaxed. I popped down to the Men's to the Malaysian lounge a little earlier, and they were all laughing and joking with me, I can tell you. And I have to say that their performance so far has been very good indeed. Malaysia, of the seven matches played, won five of them, drew two, drew against Thailand and Indonesia. And that one in their other encounters. So to the Asia All-Stars, of course it contains in Hyun Il, that great form he's been with there. Tai Su Yin, surprisingly beaten by Sandra Chia when they met in the group stage. Of course, uh, Lee Hyun Il, who's representing the team today in the many singles, played 7-1-7. Seven, seven. What a record he's got so far in this year's competition. And how delightful it's been to see Bao Chun Lai and Zheng Bo both of China playing men's doubles together. And of course, Zheng Bo, former world champion in the mixed doubles. Bao Chun Lai, three times in the list at world championship level in the singles. And now, turning his hand to men's doubles. So the stage is set for the first of our matches. It is a women's single, Sonia Chia, who played so well in the second stage of the qualifying matches up against the player who's highly ranked inside the top 10 in the world, but the player she beat from the Asian All-Stars, Tai Su Yin. So Sonia Chia, Welcomed into the arena here, looking a little bit pensive, it has to be said, the 19-year-old from Kuala Lumpur. But my goodness, how well she played. Remember, of course, that her opponent, Tai Su Ying, here is the player representing the Asian All-Stars, number nine on the world ranking and uh, this year has already won a Super Series tournament, the Malaysian Super Series. She obviously loves coming here to Malaysia, uh, but she was very disappointed, I can tell you, with her loss to Sonia Chia on day seven of competition. She had three match point opportunities in the deciding game. She came from 13-17 down to be 20-17 up and then couldn't convert any of her three match point opportunities, which just shows how calm and collected Sonia Chia was in a crisis. So the future of World Badminton meets right here. Sonia Chia against the 18-year-old Tai Sonia. 
encounter in this competition incidentally the only previous time these two players have met each other so Tai Su Ying who didn't play in the first stage Yip Pu Yin from Hong Kong played the first four matches for the Asian All-Stars which were taking place in Surabaya in Indonesia but Tai Su Ying of course, very, very highly rated. Those two Super Series titles to her name, the Japan Open last year, and as I've already mentioned, the Malaysian Open earlier this year. So for Sonia Chia, well, last year, reached the final for Dutch International when she was only seeded. And that's the only time she's been in the final. But of course, she is fresh from a campaign at the Australian Grand Prix. And so they should reach the last 16. So our uh, umpire and service judge for this encounter will be very busy this afternoon because they're officiating even all four of our matches. Richard Tanti from Singapore and Judith Rosula from the Philippines. So they're the Malaysian coaches Tasey Bok and Rashid Zedek in the blue shirt sitting along the team bench. And of course, I'm sure the new Malaysian team will be overjoyed to hear the news that Ali Chong Wei, and of course, he's the one who won many singles player, and his wife, Hong Mu Chu, gave birth to a baby son yesterday. Kingston, the mother and baby, Jimmy absolutely delighted to hear that. Well, I did wonder last week whether Tai Su Ying was a little bit complacent in her start against Sonia Chia. A little bit sluggish in her start against Singapore's Yuan the day before as well, we've got the open game of that one. With a point from Taipei. Maybe a little better prepared for this next encounter. Of course, from this stage of the competition, it is knockout. If it is two all in the overall tie, then it will go down to the number of games one. If that's equal, it will go down to the number of points. Support is lying. So Sonia Chia for Malaysia getting this semi final tie underway against the Asia All Stars and making a very good start. Oh, I've just been surmising whether Tai Su Ying may be a little more pumped up at the start of this. Oh, goodness me, is that a bird that flew across the court there or a very large moth? Ooh, we'll keep an eye out for that. Now, I have to say, Tai Su Ying looks just as nervous as she did previously. Old already burst onto the world stage when she reached the final of the Vietnam Grand Prix. And she was aged just 15. That was in 2009, a year later. It's just why we reached the final of the Singapore Super Series event as a qualifier. Didn't turn 16 until Finals Day. She must be the youngest ever Super Series finalist ever. He's all a bit nervous, isn't it? Well, with a 
this a couple of weeks ago. And there was a bit of a drift in this arena. Shuttle flying a little bit faster coming towards us as we look down on the court. And there you can see the fact that going to the far end, the shuttle holds up more. Just trying to block the shuttle across court. That would have made Tai Su Ying move the full diagonal, the furthest distance to run. Sonny Chia's got a older sister, Lydia, four years older. Also plays international balance. doing extremely well to concentrate because I can see something flying about in the arena and perhaps attracted to the lights. I don't know whether it is a, a moth or a bird or quite what, but it doesn't seem to be distracting the players. Yeah, it's a lovely angle. Got a very easy, relaxed hitting motion as Tai Su Ying. Five straight points. Stars. One four down. And court attendance. He wants to come on to court. Surprising last week as we look at Greg Kim, the manager and coach for the Asia All Stars. And it's interesting because it means that a Bao Chumai from China is coaching. best of friends, but certainly in sporting terms, all barriers have come down. It is just the Darwinian fascination of the battle of fitness and ability. wide, not playing with the same patience that we saw in earlier rounds. Of the 
this England's court. Oof, oh, just wide. I was slightly surprised at that. Yeah, of course, the line judge in a much better position to see than I am. No, oh, that is just sensational. What a cross court net shot from Tai Su Ying. And she goes to the mid game interval with a three point advantage. Like Look at that. Replaced Tijing Yi and played the four matches in Surabaya the previous week. a battle of who controlled the net. Both of these players were a wonderful disguise and deception from the front board area. They were delightful tight spin net shots on them, hold and flick deep into court. Oh, when they played each other previously. 
was their willingness to work the run and make sure you've got your opponent out of position before attempting to go for the winner. Oh, goodness. Well, all I can say is that it was actually harder than it looked because the shuttle was spinning ferociously. Having hit the top of the tape here, look how the shuttle is spinning. It's terribly difficult to control the attempted pull, but even so, it's an error from Tyson Yin. And she's back level. <laughs> a drift at one stage. Fifteen all. And it's gone wide and into the lead, the Malaysian. Short. Yeah, this time she makes no mistake. Encouraged by a net shot off her opponent's net shot that forced that short lift. Look where her feet are, nowhere near the back of the court. In fact, it's really a very sufficient and simple that smash. That's always an indication of how deep the opponent has sent the shuffle. Just look at the player's feet, he's about to hit the shuffle. sort of intriguing battle for dominance at the front of the court that was just so wonderful and intriguing and influential and they met in the second competition surprising both players taking the opportunity just to tell them a crucial crucial stage They verbalized when they met in the new competition. Saw this from the Sibyls and this star banker. Well, it didn't work on the first march. Ominous for Asian All Stars here on semi finals day because that has drifted wide as well. And now, some cheer. Just
Malaysia. Well, not only is it important to win these matches within the overall tie, it's also important to win the two straight games. If you're on the losing end, you don't want to lose in three because if it's tied at two all at the end of the semi final, as far as matches won and lost, and it goes on the number of games. One, and if it's still equal, it will go down to the number of points. So as far as Malaysia are concerned, this is vital two game point opportunities. It's gone long. Sonia Chia of Malaysia has taken the opening game against the world number nine, Tai Su Ying, representing the Asian All-Stars. Well, that final rally of the opening game, quite clearly the longest rally of the match so far. And that, I suspect, could prove absolutely crucial in this semi-final tie. Rashid Sadek and Wong Tatming. Wong Tatming nearest to us. gentlemen we have just witnessed the first set of today's semi-final of the ACNTA Cup and we have just seen Sonia from Malaysia actually walking away at a 21-18 well we have our DJ Earp here do you think that Sonia will eventually walk away with the win um, yes I think so because uh, looking at the game just now it was actually a very tough game but I feel Sonia has the capability to actually be the champion well, we know that uh, Zuping actually lost to Sonia in the final preliminary match. Do you think the same thing will happen? How do you think it will go out? Will it be a big win? Um, I think it's going to be a tough fight, so um, we have to wait and see. All right, all right. Thank you so much, DJ. Uh, it's, the atmosphere is so great. You have seen we have a couple more sets here between Malaysia and the world ranking number nine. So stay tuned. the fascination of this Axiata Cup format and competition it really is very, very intriguing. Tai Su will have been regarded by her teammates, as I was saying towards the end of that opening game, as one of their bankers. She has to try and win this. Now, it's astonishing to me that Sonia Chia, who's at 41 in the world ranking, up five places since last week and at a career high 41. She is a huge talent and the more and more experience she gets playing top international players. She's a, a tall, elegant athlete and she showed earlier on in this competition that she's got the temperament as well, saving three match points against her opponent today. Last of the group matches. Oh, I look at that. Well, there's no question about her capabilities with the dragon. Well, there was an awful lot of talk, I remember, in tennis when Venus Williams first came on the WTA tour, and everybody said, well, hang on a minute. There's a younger sister, and we all believe that the younger sister, a certain Serena Williams, is going to be even better than big sister Venus. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if exactly the same thing happens here. That 
Sonia Chia ends up achieving even more than her older sister, Lydia. to play again, she hardly gave that punch there any power at all. So it was more of a drive, and it still went long. position you haven't worked the rally with a seven-point advantage, having already won the first. And so a cheer, and on a roll. Well, I suppose the first time I really took notice of her was three years ago, when she was just 16. And I remember watching her in the Malaysian Grand Prix gold events, and she took the then world number two, Jeremy, from Hong Kong, who eventually was beaten in the final, taking, taking her very, very close in the second game, 22-20. And I remember watching that and saying to myself, when Sonia Chia gets a 
little bit older, when physically she develops a little bit more stronger power in the legs, she's going to be special. Well, that's happening before our very eyes because she has developed. Well, she's developed her athletic skills as well. It's not just that she's grown taller, not just that she's stronger in the legs. She showed very, very good character as well. of the net cord there. The smash bouncing off the top of the tape. Badly deflected, absolutely nothing that Sonia Chia could do about that. Very concerned is Bao Chun Lai. Very light. Yeah, another one goes long of that back line, and time is running out for Tai Su Ying and the Asia All Stars. Well, just proving at the moment that their encounter previously was no fluke. It wasn't a one-off. That is magnificent, magnificent control on the backhand side. Ooh, well taken. Well, we need a few more of those. Tai Su Yi. We want to come back in this. goes long. There really is considerable drift in this arena. of pet play. Maybe just change the line and do oh, I don't really know what happened. Seemed to pull her racket away from the shuttle. And that's gone wide as well. I can clearly see that. And now there is a 10-point advantage for Malaysia. And surely, surely the first point on the board for the hosts of this Axie Africa. That's a delightful drop shot, and Sonia Chia is playing like the top ten player, and the status of a player 
I'm much, much higher than I can. Never say it's over until the last point is won and lost. But surely there's no way back for Tyson Yin. on the back end, just trying to guide it across court in a downward direction. But she found the nets, and it means that Malaysia and Sonia Cheer have 10 match point opportunities. Saved. Surely too little too late as far as Tai Su Ying is concerned. Sport, isn't it? Because you never know what's possible. Anything can happen. Big gulp of air from Sonia Chia trying to relax herself. I remember when they played each other previously in this competition. Tony Su Yin came from 13 17 down on one of seven straight points, getting three match point opportunities. Long. This time she converts, and this time Sonia Chia beats Tai Su Ying in two straight games 21 18, 21 16. 
And the 19-year-old from Kuala Lumpur has got Malaysia off to the green start in this semi-final contest against the Asia All-Stars. Winning singles, as you can see, won by Sonia Chia. Two straight games, 21-18, 21-16. And let's hear what she's got to say. Courtside with John Burgess. That was absolutely fantastic, Sonia. Well done. Congratulations. And this crowd here have done you really, really proud. Absolutely brilliant. What do you say to the crowd? I would like to say thank you to the crowd for supporting me all the way. And uh, I will do better in my future. Yeah. Well, that's, that's very, very good. The match started a little bit slowly for you, and then you managed to really get the patience and the speed up. And then, of course, taking that first game was so important. Yeah. Uh, in the first game, I think uh, both of us are so, uh, trying to get used to the court. And uh, after that, uh, I feel that um, because in the past, I feel uh, I learned from it. Yeah, I learned from it from my past. So I wouldn't want to make the same mistake again. Yeah. It's so important for Malaysia to get away to a good start, to get one point on the board with only four uh, being fought for. That was really, really big for you. Yeah, that's really big for me. And uh, I want to say thank you to my, all my team members that support me all the way. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Well, that's well done. Well done, Sonia, from all of us here at Jeras at the moment. Back to you, Jill. It is wonderful, these team competitions, how all the players get together, support each other. And, yeah, she perhaps was a little bit nervous right at the start of the match, having to come from 5-9 down in the opening game before closing it out 21-18. In the second game, she was in command all the way got herself to 20 10, and therefore 10 match point opportunities finally converted on the seventh so confirmation of the score 21 18 21 16 and the first point on the board for malaysia Hi, I'm Liu Darren from Malaysia and you are watching Asiata Cup 2013.